What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Daily Sesh. I'm Rick James and we're here standing in Phoenician's manufacturing facility. They're a grinder company located in the States, of course, right here in Mesa, Arizona. And we've got Drew. He's the manufacturing manager and he's going to give us a walkthrough and show us what it's like to make a Phoenician grinder. Let's check it out. Yeah guys, it all starts right here. This is all of our raw aluminum. It's all 6061 that we process into our grinders. From here, we move it on to our tables for staging. We got these three machines making all three different size grinders right now, from large, small, to medium. Each piece of aluminum is cut in a different size for the part that it's gonna be completing. We have test gauges here to make sure that we don't have any discrepant pieces and the best quality is gonna be obtained. So from here, we load it into these machines. And then that part becomes this, which then later becomes that, which is the finished grinder as far as the machining goes. So it starts off as this piece? Or it starts as this, then it gets transformed into this from there this would be the finished raw part. So this, this surface is underneath. So this is the lid here, which is part of the cutting mechanism, which stacks on top of that. And this is the bottom part? or it's This is the fall through. So this is the top side of this. So you have to flip them over to... Yeah, like, like those, it's two operations. Okay. So... This part is half done. This part is completed. So once it's finished with this, then you flip it over and you grind out some more? Yes. And is it yeah. called grinding or cutting or this is it? Cutting, a yeah, grinding tends to be like on steel. Ooh. This is all aluminum. So we run 20 to 26 different tools per grinder on these for the finish. 26 different tools? What's that mean? Yeah, we can look up at the carousel here. I can show you a couple of the different ones. What? But each of those tools is necessary to complete the product that we create here. Wow, so the machine, and this is a CNC machine, it starts with one like drill bit and then just kind of rotates to whatever it needs for the next set. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so it's all automatic tool changing, all numerically controlled. So depending on what needs to be cut, this specific part right here will be changed out automatically? Yes, yeah, so that tool has a specific tool path and a specific order to create the finish. And that, this one being a tiny chamfer mill, you can see at the end it's got a nice little point on it, that's a 90 degree chamfer mill and that finishes out in some of the tighter areas of the grinder. So it's pretty straightforward. These machines do all of the work. When you're making grinders, how many grinders can you make in a day? In a day, it really just depends on the size because they all run different times. So this one here runs for 20 minutes. So you can do the math there on a eight hour work shift. This, the large runs for more 40 minutes and with loading times it's close to 50 so a little bit less on the large a little bit more on the small but we do keep this thing running all day and we make plenty once it's out of that stage then what happens next once we unload that we'll have a finished product and then it comes over here to deburr and everything's hand inspected and hand deburred which essentially means that there's not going to be any sharp edges or any discrepant parts coming through later on in the assembly and processing. So this is a part that's fresh out of the machine. It's a complete grinder, obviously less the screen that goes in there, no magnets yet. There's no anodization on there. So this one hasn't been deburred yet. I can walk you through that real quick. Yeah, let's do it. It starts out on these buffers and then everything gets checked from there. So 
basically you're just kind of cleaning them up and polishing them? Or? Yeah, so you can see the difference here. So this edge tends to be really sharp coming out of the machines. So running over it with this disc eliminates some of that sharpness. So no one's getting their hands cut up. And you guys have to do this with every single grinder? Every single grinder we make goes through this process. And from there, we bring it all up here, gets staged in these trays, and this is their last step before they get anodized. And so anodizing is something that you guys do out of house or out of shop? Yeah, yeah, we outsource that just due to a couple different reasons, cost and the chemicals and the whole process of it. It's a, a pretty big process to deal with. But you're still outsourcing to Phoenix, somewhere yeah, in Phoenix? Yeah, it's a local company. Everything we do is going to be locally sourced here. So keeping the money within. All U.S. made, all hands on, all quality controlled by us here out of this facility. So why Phoenician grinders and how did they come about? So Phoenician started with the two founders here, Colton and Dane. and they just wanted a quality product and they had a background in manufacturing so they weren't finding a quality product that was up to their standards you could say and they decided to manufacture it on their own and then it evolved into what you see here today how long has phoenician been around phoenician's been around for six years now how many grinders has phoenician made now we can go over and look at some of the serial numbers and yeah, see where we're at. Look. Yeah, so we saw the deburr process, and once things come back from anodize, they actually shoot over into this room here, and this is our laser room. So we do all the engraving in-house here, and we have this set up here. This does the tops and bottoms for both the large, the medium, and the small. And from there, we kick it over to assembly, this is where we'll press in all the magnets and we'll press in all the screens. We do a quick clean up once over of them here. And each grinder also includes this Keef pick that we manufacture here in house. From the machines? Yeah, this is made on that laser that oh. we just saw. So we do the engraving and the outline of it. Do you guys here. cut it from the machines as well? Yeah, it's all cut on that laser. Oh, the laser cuts that? Yeah, the laser cuts everything on here. But so once it comes back from the anodizing, then it comes over to this table and, yes. the, and everything gets assembled? Yeah, everything gets assembled into this complete grinder. So this one here, we're at 37,290. And this is a medium four piece grinder. And that's actually only for the medium sizes. Each size has their own serial number. Correct, yeah. All the grinders are gonna have serial numbers on them. How big is the staff here at Phoenician? On a daily basis, it's usually three or four of us. So it's myself, Dane, Colton, and a sales representative that we have working outside the office. So internally, it's three of us. So we have our large grinder, medium grinder, small grinder. We also manufacture a few different things. This is our Aura. This is a pipe with our X-Bowl incorporated in it. The front carb manufactured all out of aluminum. This is the smaller version for your glass piece. This is an 18 mil X-Bowl piece also offer that in 14. We have our ashtray deboler with removable nail. That nail is coated in nickel just to ensure quality and longevity. This is our concentrate tray. We also have a flower option which we'll show you up in the office in a gold coating later. So this is the gold stuff <laughs> yeah and this stuff actually belongs to a colleague of ours and it does get used pretty heavy you can see here just how well this finish 
holds up. So this is the same process that a lot of satellite parts go through. They get launched up into space. So it is designed. What do, you, what do you mean it's the same process? So a lot of those satellite parts require a gold or silver coating on them. Okay. Just to keep from deterioration. So we use that same process here for the gold coating. And I know for a fact this grinder has been used heavily. And you can see here just how well it maintains. Ooh, it's super clean. How much does this grinder go for? So this is the large four piece paper slot and usually retail on that for a standard anodized one is 125. And for the gold one? The gold one is 1500. Wow. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up today. We did a cool walkthrough with Drew, the manufacturing manager of Phoenician Grinders. He was able to show us everything that it's all about. And of course, if you want one of their grinders, you just gotta go to phoeniciangineering.com or hit up one of your local smoke shop. And if they don't have it, you gotta tell the owners to get those Phoenician Grinders. Until next time guys, give us a thumbs up and smash that like button. See you guys later.